Hello. We shall be learning how to prepare the Doma Uko soup today. The soup is a very delicious and medicinal delicacy, common among the Doma people in Benin State, Nigeria. The plant whose stem is used to prepare the soup is known as Cetus popolia. The slimy sap skewed from heat stem is usually used as soup thickener. Now we we'll proceed to list the ingredients needed to prepare the soup. 1. The Hoko plant stem. It has to be scraped thoroughly with a knife and peeled into strands, then wrapped into a bunch. Number 2, we have locust bean called Okwe by the Domus, already processed, very nutritious, I must say. Number 3, a table salt for taste. Make sure you don't add it in excess. Number four, crayfish, pounded very well. Just put this aside because you will be needing it. Number five, we have the onion. Although not in that quantity, you slice it into desired sizes. Number six, oh yes. A red pepper. Pound or blend this before use. And make sure it's not too much and night not too small. Number seven, we have the seasonal cube. The seasonal cubes. Pick the quantity you need from any brand you want. Number eight, have meat. Bush meat is preferred, although you can use beef or any kind of meat you want. Number nine, we have the dried fish. You can either use the meat or the dried fish, or you can decide to use both for the soup. M ensure that you make use of your shopping bowl to cut your meat and onions into desired sizes. Also, you pound your way pound the crayfish, the seasonal cube and the opay and ensure that they are properly pounded. Before you start cooking, you are now ready to cook. Let's go. Boil moderate quantity of water in the pot. Add the already pounded pepper to the water in the pot. And allow it to boiling. Then also pound away and add to the boiling mixture. Make sure you are stirring. Let it boil for a while, then add a moderate quantity of salt to the boiling mixture to taste. Make sure it's not in excess, as I said earlier on. Next, you pound and add two or more cubes of seasoner according to the quantity of soup you are cooking. Make sure you don't add too much. After that, pound and add a little crayfish to the mixture. Remember, allow your mixture to be boiling and stir continuously. You can now add your meat and allow the mixture to boil for some minutes. This is to soften the meat. You may use fish instead of meat if you want. Just allow the mixture to boil very well after that. Then, stir and test the boiling mixture. This, please ensure that you do not put any of the ingredients in excess in order to get your desired stir. Now, then steam the stem of the tidal core stem. Cook out the slimy stuff and add to the mixture on the fire. Excuse it out the slimy sap and add to the mixture on the fire. Stir the soup thoroughly and then add your fish and meat back into the soup. This is very important. You may ask why did you remove the meat in the first place only to put it back. Well, the reason is you have to remove your meat or fish before adding a cold sap due to the rigorous tearing. 
your cold soup is now ready to be served. Mmm, what a delicious meal. This soup does not need oil, so do not make the mistake of adding if you want great results. I hope it was nice learning with us. You can serve the soup with either Haba, Eba, Amala or Pandebian. Hope you gained a lot from this video. If you did, please subscribe to this channel for more of Band of Wisdom varieties. Thanks for watching.